At times, it can be helpful to transfer a raster version of your selection to After Effects. The Rasterize Selection button will instantly generate and transfer a PNG to After Effects with transparency at two times scale. If the After Effects project has already been saved and an image folder path has already been specified in the After Effects extension, the image will automatically be saved and imported into After Effects. Otherwise, Overlord will prompt you to choose a location to save the raster image before transferring. Visibility for this button in either app can be toggled in the Host section of the Overlord Desktop app. In After Effects, the Pre-Comp button will now measure the selected artwork and trim the resulting comp to the selection without needing a group layer. Other changes in this update include gradient fills and background blurs on text layers are now supported from Figma. Transferring frames with the Pre-Comp option enabled will now build layers without a group guide layer. iOS corner rounding is now supported by converting rectangles to paths. Figma frame background images, fill colors, and strokes are now supported. The After Effects app switch has become more reliable on transfers. Opacity and blend modes for images, components, and text has been improved. Component instances now apply scale and opacity on transfers. A sporadic MRAP error when building text from Illustrator has been fixed. And per character text now supports non-RGB color modes from Illustrator. That's it for this update. As always, thanks for your continued support. Join the Battleaxe Discord server to provide feedback on any of our tools. And head to battleaxe.co slash overlord to learn about all of Overlord's features, and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.